golly, that's good. I cracked myself up. I still haven't found my first Blanton's. <laughs> that's different. I really like that. They're like together, like peas and carrots. That's funny. Sometimes accidents are good things. Peshods or pechods or pecha. <laughs> this is not what I expected. <laughs> All right, we are here. We are live. Sorry for the, you didn't see it, but I saw it. We had technical difficulties. <laughs> Your fault. No, 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 no. No, it no, isn't. No, 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 no. It isn't your fault. This is Paul. Hey, Paul. Howdy, howdy. Paul's a new dad. And on the 19th, his daughter was two months old, and you say she's already up to 10 um, pounds? 10 pounds. Yeah. What, what, what was her birth weight? 6'2". Six, 6'2". Six, oh, my gosh. Feeding her well. Yes. So he is here because we're doing the Balboa Rye. Go ahead. Well, it's, it's my favorite. I won't not lie. Now the political stuff is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. All right, so that one you go. I'll let you do the honors. Oh, okay. You insist. I insist. <laughs> that way you can pour the size of pour you want. All right. So Kim is watching, and Larry's watching, and Michelle is watching. Uh oh. <laughs> we're in for we're in for a treat. <laughs> so. All right. See now, that's a. All right, there. You didn't get give yourself very much. Well, I gotta drive home. Oh, that's true. I have hot dogs. Well, I ate before I came. You do. I, I stopped at Arby's. Oh, so, all right. But but still, you know, gotta behave myself. Right. And how <laughs> can I turn off my ringer? Because all of a sudden, people have decided to text me. <laughs> so, all right. Now, so the Balboa Rye. What we found out first of all is that this is a hundred proof. It is bottled in bond. I was looking at it. All over the bottle. Where does it say bottled and bond? Because if it's bottled and bond, it has there has to be a government stamp on there that says it's bottled and bond. Well, it's there. It's just not very bright. Really? Kind of like me. <laughs> or me. So, but this is the Balboa Rye. Now, Balboa Rye. You you read about it. You want to mm -hmm. tell people what Balboa Rye is? It's a uh, ancient, ancient heirloom rye from back from the 1940s. 40s. And there was a what was his name? Oh, I can tell you. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting to it. Oh, the Fogg family. Fogg. Fogg family. Fogg. Uh, raises it and grows it for New Riff. And, and it has not changed. No. They haven't. So where a lot of times they'll change the grain, it'll evolve, they'll do, in, uh, they'll do GMOs with it or something like that. This is the original grain. Uh, and this is 95% the Balboa rye. That's it, they grow it in Indiana, like yes. you said. Yeah. So, but it's not necessarily an Indiana rye. It is grown in Indiana. Right. And then it's got 5% malted rye. So barley, no corn, no. Two different types of rye: Balboa rye and malted rye. And I don't know what the malted rye is. Whether it's Indiana rye, if it's yeah, I, I don't know that either. They didn't say. So, and it is found here in Ohio. This one is? Yes. I have found it, believe it or not. I have seen it, unfortunately. Uh, Glass City is closed. Uh, yeah. But so. uh, I, had, I did see it up there on their shelf. The rumor, so OHLQ, the, the liquor agency in the state of Ohio, is closing a few... Stores one in Bryan and two in Toledo, both beverage and Glass City beverage. Now, I'm not a gossip, I don't like gossiping. However, the rumor is that the owner of Bulk Beverage and Glass City is the same owner. They are. And the further rumor is, is that when the allocation would come in, the owner would take the allocation and not sell it. On the, on the shelves, but take it over state lines. Yes, I heard that too. And t sell it in the black market, which is what we call secondary market. Greed is a great way to end every good thing. Yep. So I hope it's not true. Uh, that's the rumor. Um, but that's that's three stores, and and OHLQ they're they're cracking down on these agencies that aren't on the level. Yeah. So. All right, so Joanna's watching us. Hi. 
The missus. <laughs> the missus. <laughs> and uh, Denny's watching, and Jordan is watching. Hey, Denny, how are you? Uh, this is the Balboa Rye from New Riff. Let's go ahead and get into it. We could talk our our eyes out, but first of all, you gotta you gotta watch it clean. I mean, that's just it just sits. I just about poured it out right then. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits. It's like a coating. It just does yeah. not drip. So this is unfiltered, bottled and bond, one hundred proof. Oh, look at that. Just holding on to the side of there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where I thought I was going to spill it. <laughs> See how close to the top I got? <laughs> so in wine, this is called legs. Uh, you can call it legs uh, in bourbon as well, but uh, in wine, it's not the alcohol that sits on the side of the glass per se. It's sugar. So with alcohol, it'll sit on the side of the glass as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, it's it's got nice legs. Now the other term that's legs is how long does it last on your palate? Um, it's a wine term. It's ubiquitous. It goes across. It doesn't really work for beer because beer just doesn't stay there very long. Mm, I'm not a beer drinker. <laughs> I'm anyway. really not either. All right, let's nose this bad boy. Ooh, wow, that's got great nose. <laughs> oh. Hello, Kevin. How are you, sir? Oh, and Eleanor's watching too. Joanna says Eleanor's watching <laughs> and too. Eleanor's watching too. Can she hold right. her own head up yet? Yeah. Oh, well, then there you go. Yeah, she Can she did. smoke a stogie? Oh, uh, we don't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's two months old. Come on. <laughs> but when Dad, she's. Dad didn't even have a stogie because Dad quit smoking right. several years ago. So they say. That when she starts to teethe, you can take a little bit of bourbon and put it on her, on her gums. Yeah, that's what they say. But you're not going to do it? No. <laughs> do you know what really worked with my kids? I saw it on a, a movie. I saw it on three and a half. No. What is it? Two two men and a baby. Three two men and, and a baby. baby three, yeah, okay. Tom yeah, Selleck. From the 80s. Yeah. Frozen waffles. And when they start teething and it's really bugging them and whatever, frozen waffles. Oh. You'll, they'll start chewing on that and it's cold but it tastes good and it works and it'll disintegrate I mean it'll just it'll get gushy and whatever because mm -hmm. you didn't cook the waffle it'll right. get all gushy and I mean it's great baby food it really is Eggos, huh if you want to spend that much I, <laughs> I just did Walmart great great value brand because I don't love my kids as much as you do evidently <laughs> alright what are you picking out of there that's I, I'm going to hear it from you because I don't want to I don't want to influence you there is rich, rich Corinthian leather in that. Way back in the back, but it is very complex. Wow. Um, ahoy, Jordan says. Ahoy. ahoy. He's in Florida, and he oh, likes wow. to fish, and he likes to boat. So he's ahoy. There's definitely cinnamon in it. This is really tough to pull out. <laughs> this was one of you guys spent some time nosing. So I'm going to get out something that I haven't done in a while. We're going to do the flavor wheel. All right. So when you're looking at the flavor wheel, uh, go here. Okay. So if we had to go into sweet and aromatic, vanilla, caramel, or caramel. If you have a degree. There you go. <laughs> Maple drink. syrup. Drink. <laughs> Maple syrup, butterscotch, honey, chocolate. I'm picking up, of course, a little bit of a milk chocolate. I think I am too. Uh, Which I picked that up pretty much ever since I've first started this bottle or these bottles. Um, I'm going to want to go back to that actually, uh, the flavor wheel. Um, so I think that there's also an area where we can look at fruit and floral, uh, geranium, rose petal, cooked peach, and apricot berry, tropical, pomegranate, cherry, I think black cherry maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think it, I think it oozes black cherry actually. Mm -hmm. What I like about it for being a hunter proof, it is not extrigent on your nose. Right, you're not. Definitely you're not. definitely not burning your nail, nose hairs. <laughs> I mean, you can nose dive the glass literally. Yeah, 
Aaron's asking, I question how you know it's not possum leather. <laughs> possum leather. All right. You ever smelled Corinthian leather, like on a recliner, on a chair, yeah. or something like that? It's got a very deep, rich bouquet. You know, it's it's got a complex smell to it. Um, smells a lot different than the skins hanging in your shop there, Aaron. <laughs> but, uh, Tom's watching. Hey, Tom. It, it, I guess it's just... Now, you, now you're kind of understanding why this is my favorite. The nose on this is incredible. I'm, I'm going to go back to that, that leather. Uh, that, mm -hmm. is, that is my number one note. There's a little bit, maybe, of... Um, uh, it's not citrus. It's like orange peel. Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's some orange peel in there. I, I'll agree with that. All right. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Really nice bloom. Not all on the tongue, it's everywhere. Yeah, I get more on the back roof towards the back of my throat. I did too, not in the back, but on the roof for sure. Right. Um, that a was a bit, little bit on the sides. That was an uncharacteristically small pour for me, or a small <laughs> sip for me. I wanted to do just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kim, the first of my troublemakers. If an old man sits on your leather, it's a whole different smell. You talked about that last night. I didn't realize it was a leather chair. That does explain a lot. She's talking about a man who sat on her chair in her house and now she can't get the old man stink out of the chair. She can you still know, smell him. I was watching, um, what are they called? The um, the two guys, they're over in Indiana. They do the burb cat, they're, they're their thing out of the basement. They called their basement. Oh, is that the guy and his son? Yeah. Yeah. They were, I was watching the Vaughn video last night, the recent one. He was talking about old men smells. Uh, oh, she must have watched the same video. I don't know. She had to have. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think we're the only bourbon show that she watches because she's a beer drinker. Oh, okay. So, all right. Well, um, what so you, what here's you, what, what I got out of it. What I got out of the um, the palette was the same thing I got on the nose. Um, very complex, rich Corinthian leather, a little orange peel. I mean, it was almost identical to the nose to me. Mm -hmm. um, but I may not be sure. I may have to have another one. <laughs> well, I'm going to sum it all up this way. Basically, it with, with some of the cinnamon notes and all that, the orange peel, but basically I sum it up as pecan pie filling in a jar. I'm not getting that. You're not getting the brown sugaries? No. Mm. I'm not taking very big swigs either, and normally I take a big powerful <laughs> swig so I can get that flavor all over, and I'm not getting brown sugar. Hmm. Let's see, I get brown sugars. Well, you and I have a different palate. We figured a this out bit. before. Yeah, a little bit. We have some things that we like that are the same, but what we're getting out of them are different mm. things. Chris Webb is with us. Mm. Hey, Chris, how are you? Finally, someone good on this show. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's talking about me. He's talking about you. <laughs> What's up, Chris? I can just leave if you want. <laughs> just it, It'll be the broadcast with, uh, with Paul. Then I'll just go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Sorry. Thanks a lot, Chris. <laughs> All right. Are you going to want to do water and ice, or are you just going to stick no, with that? No, no, because I've never done on water and ice. So you are going to want to do water yeah, and ice? Yeah, sure. All right, okay. I've never done it on water and ice. All right, well, then tonight's your night. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I've got this much left. I'm going to take one big swig <laughs> and see if I can get your pecan pie. Okay. I get pecan pie filling, not the pecans themselves, just that mm. filling. The sugars. Along with the orange peels and... I gotta really look for it, dude. But it's there. For me, it's extremely subtle. <laughs> the sugar part of it is being overridden to me by the, the leather. That rich, fragrant... Mm -hmm. I mean, there's... It's 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 complex, but it's 
that that Corinthian leather note is really on. I wanted to, I I actually wanted to say cigar when I first tried it. I thought cigar um, because a new cigar right under the nose, mm -hmm. ugh, so nice. And that's what it first reminded me of. And I didn't want to say that because cigars can be you know somebody you get a, a swisher sweet. It's not the same thing. No, 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 no. So, all right, so we got a couple of comments here. Uh, do I like Russells? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I do. I've mm -hmm. got actually some, some Russells I haven't opened yet that I need to put on the schedule. Uh, right now we're scheduled all the way out to June. <clears throat> and that doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, that doesn't account for the fact that we're going to be doing some shows not here. All right. We're going to be going out. So, uh, Nolan's watching. Hey, Nolan, how mm -hmm. are you, sir? Uh, I. Don't remember Nolan. seeing your name before, so welcome to the show. I actually know Nolan. Oh. He's part of the Whiskey Society. Oh, very good. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. I'm, why am I looking at the phone? The camera's over here. Because that's really <laughs> bright. It's a bright light. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. All right, so did you get done? Yeah, I got mine done. All right, so let's do another pour. I'll let you pour yours. I'm going to pour mine um, so I can give myself a little bit more. And I know you're being careful because, uh, you know, driving. Yep, yep. So, and you can hang out for a while too. Oh yeah. So, um, that is probably three quarters of a milliliter. You don't want all that. About half of that. About half. Okay, we'll go That's right good. about there. Yep. Okay. And I pull myself some. Give this a good jiggle. That's what got you into this mess with the child. Was a little jiggle. <laughs> all right. So I don't know if you know. How much I enjoy the name Eleanor, mm. or Eleanor, however you Eleanor. E L L. Oh boy! So he, mm. they named their child Eleanor. Eleanor. And there's a song by the Turtles called Eleanor. Mm -hmm. There's a song by Toto. Yeah. Goodbye, Eleanor, which is a great song, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I remember Toto. My aunt was named Eleanor. He says, "My man, he's talking <laughs> to you." <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Yep. All right, so we have the water. Give a little swishy swish. See, see what kind of pour I gave myself? A yeah, bit bigger. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, you, you like to swig it. I do. <laughs> I like big swigs. It's probably why I go through bottles so quickly. <laughs> Although, this is supposed to be dry January. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Nah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was supposed to do sober October too. Well, that never happened. That didn't work very well. I tried. I tried. But um, so I decided that I was going to try at least going with lower proof pours. Mm -hmm. So I had a liter size Jim Beam White, 80 proof. Took me really about a week and a half to go through that one. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, your your wife is laughing, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, sober no sober October. <laughs> yeah, um, and then just because I really wanted to get it out of the house, I opened up one of the Basil Haydens. Mm -hmm. I had the toast still open, so I started in on that last night because I finished the Jim Beam the night before. So there's still a lot of that, but so that that's what I'm doing in in dry January is not being dry, but just lowering the proof value a little bit. No one says, Sober October, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I you smell it and taste it? Okay, the nose changed on, on uh, water. Yes, it did. More of the traditional notes. Uh, cinnamon came back out. For me, I'm getting some caramel or caramel. If you have a degree. <laughs> a little bit of vanilla in there, which I did not get when it was neat at no. all. No, I got the vanillas, the caramels again. And for me, the sugars are popping on water. Um, the orange yeah. zest is gone. Or faded. It's in the background now, not up front. Right, yes, I agree with that. Um, but for me, now, for newbies, be aware there is no sugar in bourbon. If there is any sugar, it's just a trace, and it comes from the barrel that it's rested in. So... No sugar in bourbon. There's no carbs in bourbon. Nope. I'd like to say there's no calories, but that would be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> for a for an ounce and a half pour of 80 proof, it's 100 calories. And then just goes up from there. You drink, 
you know, 100 proof pour, there's more calories mm -hmm. in it. And then you pour a big one like this and there's more calories than that. Hmm. Palette. I get a lot more cinnamon in it. It got sweeter. Yeah. Um, it got dry in the middle of the palate. It did, right center. Right, it dried. Which is weird, when you add water, it's not supposed to get dry. Right, and it did. It From being neat to water, it dried out a little bit on your palate. Just a little bit. Um, the bloom was less. Water did cut that bloom down a little bit. I'm not getting the same burn. Right. Um, uh, but then again, we've been drinking and you know, that in itself will knock down the burn too. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you add water to it and you know, we're probably down to, I don't know what, 95 proof or something like that. We, it's yeah. significant. Yeah. Um, so, um, there's I'm st a lot of the same notes, that leather note, that Corinthian leather note is still on top mm -hmm. for me. Um, but uh, the sugars definitely came out. I'm still not getting pecan pie, but I don't eat a lot of pecan pie without the pecans in it either. Well, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I eat the pecans too, <laughs> but there, there is a little bit of a difference without the pecans. So. I would have to try that and see what I think of it. I, I don't, when I, I eat pecan pie like I drink bourbon. <laughs> I take a big bite. <laughs> I don't nibble. <laughs> Well, you just separate the pecans and try a bite of just Why would you do film. that? <laughs> because I like to critique food sometimes. Okay. So, you know. Pecan pie. Well, Not yeah. pecan goo pie. <laughs> well, and it, well, too. And it, you, you know, well, I like an overbaked pecan pie. Oh, okay. Okay. You like a little crusty on top. I like it where it's actually a little gooey in the center and not black. Where it's chewier, per se. Oh, okay. Not not gooey, but chewy. Chewy, chewy and not. Oh, gooey. sure, he brings up chewy. He's been <laughs> dead two weeks. It'll <laughs> <laughs> be okay, Casey. I tell you, I'm sitting over, over there in my recliner. I put it up, and then when I want to put it down to get up and go get another pour. You're used to having a dog that you're going to have to move. Well, and he would sit underneath the recliner, so I don't put the recliner down, I go around it because I don't want to squash the dog <laughs> that isn't here anymore. I had somebody comment on YouTube, mm -hmm. at Beautiful Bourbon on YouTube, um, that they were very nice. They said, sorry about your dog. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Yeah. And I had lots of people here, same thing. Oh, yeah. So I appreciate well, it. It's 12 and a half years, first time in 12 and a half years without a dog. It's it's rough. It's well. It's different, and I have my own habits and my own routines and mm -hmm. things like that that I have to change. Yeah, right. it's just because that family member is not with us. Right. I was talking to a guy today who lost his father a couple of weeks ago. A week ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. And they own a farm, and so you know the older brother is hit a little harder than the younger brother, and and they. You know, the older brother goes out to the farm and he's doing the books. Mm -hmm. They're all accountants. And, you know, he's out at the farm, he's doing the books because, you know, it's January, it's time to do that crap. Unfortunately. Yeah, tax time. Yep. And so, you know, it's like, well, why didn't you take it home and do it there? Well, because this is where you do it. Mm -hmm. You're sitting at dad's desk, you know, and it's just, it's just a weird feeling that dad isn't sitting in his recliner while I'm sitting at his desk doing his stuff. Right. You know, so, I mean, I'm equating it to a dog. Well, and it, the dog's but, a family. Yeah, yeah, it is, but it's not and the same as losing your dad. No, no, it's not. So, but still, I mean, they become part of your family. They're part of your life. Ah, oh, Shala's here. I'm glad you said that because I don't know how to pronounce that. Shala. 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 So the C is silent. Uh, that's the way I understand it. I hope I'm correct. And there's no I. So without these on, I can't tell that it's not Shalia. Yeah, so, she's also a member of our whiskey society. I think she and I have met. Okay. Uh, we where 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 do they go to the to the, the lounge? The lounge? No, the bar. Oh, uh, bar's public house. Yeah, that. Yeah. So I think I met her there. Okay. Have I met you, Shala? And are we singing right? <laughs> well, I hope so. Yeah, because otherwise you're in trouble. I, I, I'm, I'm not in, in trouble, trouble, but she'll, you're she'll, in trouble. She'll, 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 she'll kick my butt later. So <laughs> bar's public house. That's Wednesdays, yeah. Every other Wednesday. Every other Wednesday. Right. Okay. I need to start getting to those. And then I guess they that's their 
That's our Wednesday. <laughs> she says, hi, baby. <laughs> hi, baby. <laughs> I think I just got a warm feeling. I think she's talking to you, though, so. Well, I'm married. I'm not. <laughs> Shala. I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, see, I got mine. Yeah, <laughs> bragger. Now, I think the cherries disappeared, too. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. I think it disappeared a little bit on the nose. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I heard you're talking mm -hmm. palate. Okay. No, black cherry came out more mm -hmm. on the palate. Mm -hmm. I can understand why you like this so much. It's, it's just awesome. All right, so how do you feel about other ryes? Your Rittenhouse, your Elijah Craig's, your, uh, your Pikesville's, your uh, Bullet, your Knob Creek's. How do you feel about other ryes? I think they're, they're, they're good. They're decent. It's just this Balboa gives it, it's, it's a weird. It's different. different. It's different. I'm going to re, I'm going to adjust your mic a little bit because I think it's up over oh. your head. There we go. Okay. All right. I don't or, know I, or I'm not talking loud enough. No, I just, too. I see it, and <laughs> so I don't know if I just... But, okay. it, it, I mean, you know, I've, I've had the the uh, Elijah Craig rye. Um, I like it a lot better than, uh, say, the Sazerac rye, honestly. And I'm, not, agree with I'm not a big fan of the Sazerac rye. So both of those have an identical mash bill. Mm-hmm. But they are different. They are different. They are different uh, distillers. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna age them different. Excuse me, age them differently. Um, Bill's watching. Say hi to Bill. Hi, hi Bill. Bill. <laughs> um, I I did a taste test, mm -hmm. and between the Elijah Craig and the Sazerac, and I came up with the same. I, I like the Elijah Craig better. Right. The reason I bring it up is because if you are a rye hater. And I ran into a lot of rye haters mm -hmm. when I was doing that retail for a short amount of time. Uh, no, I don't like the rye. I don't. What do you think that a normal rye hater would think of this? Kind of tough to say, honestly. Uh -huh. um, because it's, it's just unique in its own way. Uh -huh. I would almost say that if you like a deep, rich red wine like a Chianti, you might like this. Okay. But I've never had Keanu wines, so. Oh, that makes it really good. There goes the gorgeous ice sphere. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Entertain them. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Hopefully it oh, didn't oh break. you didn't lose it, though. Hopefully it didn't break. There. Because, you know, doing half a gorgeous ice sphere makes it less gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Um, honestly, this, this, this rye would be one that I would honestly give to somebody that was actually wanting to try rye. Would, only, would only you do because, a sample bottle or would you give them a whole bottle? I'd let them sample it. There you go. I mean, I, I wouldn't be cruel. Because, it's not cruel to give somebody yeah, a no, bottle. No, 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 no. It's, a great I, it, it's, it's less bottle for me. Well, yeah, it's true. So it's cruel. Well, it's <laughs> cruel to give them a taste of it, and then they, that's all they get is the thing. That's, that's well, the thing. then I would share a little more. All right. Them. Well, okay, now we're talking. <laughs> See, I share. You're here. And last week I shared, you know, and and uh, Titch brought another bottle, too, that we that we enjoyed afterwards, our sample of something that we, that we tried, and mm -hmm. Kevin's talking. Mm -mm. Kevin says, Paul, you're going to... You're going to get a used, a used gorgeous ice sphere with a with finger, finger stir. <laughs> well, that'll be my finger that gets the finger stir. That's true. Unless, <laughs> unless you decide to share fingers. No, I'm not going to share my finger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're, you're waiting for me to get down here, so I'm going to get Oh, no. Enjoy yourself. The radio DJ and me had a lot of comebacks for that, and I just decided to keep it to myself. <laughs> Sometimes I decided that's to sip the best. instead. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best. So as I go through this, and as I get used to this, and as the flavors settle for me, the rye side of this is definitely starting to pop out. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm 
I am definitely getting that that spicy Indiana rye note. Now, it's different than other Indiana ryes. It's a different spice. The heirloom rye that is this Balboa is, is just expressing itself differently, but there are some definite similarities after you let it sit for a minute. Okay. And after it's gone through its paces and after you get used to it, that reminds me of a typical... It's got that rye burn. It's, or it's rye spice. That, the rye spice. It's yeah. there. It's there. It's hidden behind everything else, but it's there. And that might be just because of the 5% malted rye. Maybe. Although it's malted rye. Mm -hmm. But that's still possible because that would express the flavor even that more, even that much more with it being malted. So malting, if you take a grain, a piece of grain, a seed of grain, you can crush that up, you can turn it into powder, you can cook it as it is, you can do whatever. If you expose that piece of grain to moisture and it starts to crack and then there's a little bit of green growth that comes out of it, that's what's called malted. And that typically is what they do with barley when they put that in a bourbon, is they malt the barley first. Mm -hmm. Does it sound like I got that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We're both bourbon stewards. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, you got it right on the nose. Okay, great. <laughs> so, I hate being wrong. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I was right. Yeah, yeah, it's malted. Okay. That's why Scotland does with theirs. They right. malt it. So, so there's lots of different ways that you can use rye, but it's not typical to malt rye. It's typical just to crack it and cook it and use it. Uh, but malted rye goes through a bigger process, and that may be, like you said, why I'm getting more of that flavor all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. All right, so Daddy says, Paul, you're going to get... Oh, Paul... Oh, no, Ke okay, that was Kevin. Kevin said that. Kim says, I'll take the empty bottles. That scares me. What are you going to do with an empty bottle? Well, well, they do make crafts out of stuff now. Yeah. And you got to look at this new rip bottle all together. I mean, it's, you know, black faded down into the clear, and it's just, it's one unique looking bottle, really. I will tell you, Kim, that this bottle is going to last a while. There are bottles that I go through quickly, and there are bottles that I sample from occasionally, particularly the ones that are more expensive, like High Banks Whiskey War. I've got that downstairs, mm -hmm. the cask strength. I'm just slowly going through that. My Larceny Barrel Proof, I'm slowly going through <laughs> My E.H. Taylor, my Eagle Rare, I'm slowly growing. Well, if she wants bottles, I can clear these bottles pretty damn fast. <laughs> so. And you say you're finding them in Ohio. They, I've seen them a couple times up here in Ohio. Yeah. Right. Now, every one that I've bought, well, I should say the case that I brought home. Case? I bought a case. He really it. likes this. Yes, stuff. I love it. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to finish this so we can get into the, the ice. used ice spheres. <laughs> mm. Now i got to move that. All right. That's going to take a tumble, too. I just see it. Joanna says, Oh, my, don't tell your secrets, Paul. <laughs> That's what we're here to do, yeah. Joanna. Let's tell secrets. This one time at band camp? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go to band camp, please. <laughs> Joanna, do you see how responsible he's being? He's not drinking like I'm drinking. Do you see this? <laughs> I mean, I've got couches right here. He could have slept here. <laughs> Did you give up a night of work to come here? I got the extra vacation time, so, yeah. And it got me out of a stupid safety meeting in the morning, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't realize that until um, <laughs> yesterday when I looked at the paper and said, oh, there was a safety meeting. Oops. Oh, well, I'll miss so it. So <laughs> those of you who are in safety, he called it a stupid safety meeting. That did not come from me. I'm just saying, it did not come from me. No, I know really. how important safety is. Well, when you listen to them almost every month. I know. Safety All because of OSHA. Well, I mean, safety has overtaken training in a lot of places, and safety tends to be a little bit well, safety, too big for the britches. Safety used to be common sense, which is almost non-existent now. It's almost a superpower. In this house, we say common sense isn't. 
common. See what I did there? You pour yours so you can all get right. what you want. I, I should have gotten you a little ice cube. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> so these are fresh, gorgeous ice straws. I just made them. Oh, mine just cracked. That must have been the one on the bottom. <laughs> that took the brunt of the it took it off. So, so not used, Kevin. <laughs> However, Kevin, I'm using my finger. Woo, finger <laughs> He's doing good, she says. So, how long have you been married? It'll be six years, May 5th. Six years. Newlyweds. No wonder. <laughs> No wonder. Hmm. This thing that you guys got going on, you know, between two of you, mm -hmm. it's important. Don't let that fade. Right. Right? Right. Respect and love each other like you do now. Be together until you die. Who's going to die first? I am going to chance this probably will be the one. Okay. Because I am older than her, right. and I don't know my family history because of adoptions. I found mine out, thankfully, because mm -hmm. I'm adopted as well. Uh, but so I met my birth mother. She passed away last summer. Oh wow! I think so. So now I know what my <laughs> what my sell by date is. <laughs> <laughs> sell by date or use by date? That <laughs> or expiration date? Yeah, all of that. <laughs> all of that. So. All right. And she was not communicable there for the end, for what I ended. I was going to send her a video because she lives in Arizona. Mm -hmm. I was going to send her a video. Hey, it's me. How are you doing? And my sister, my natural sister, who I just met a few years ago, right. said, eh, she's not going to hear you. So I didn't bother to do it. Mm. All right. So who's talking? Who's talking? Hey, Coachella Valley Mike is checking oh, in. Wow. <laughs> How you doing, sir? <laughs> welcome, welcome to the show. I want to brag a little bit. I want to brag to you. And this isn't going to mean anything, I don't think, to you. You're going to go, pfft, 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 right? But we had single digits last week mm -hmm. and, and below zero wind chills. Today we got up to 48. All right? It's like springtime. Uh, they're probably going to be sitting in 70. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Trust me, I, if I could get away from the Ohio weather, I would. Oh, I don't mind Ohio weather. That's what you sign up for when you live here. Well, I didn't sign up for being born here. I was born here too, but I had, <laughs> I had lots of opportunities. I lived in New York, I lived in Missouri. I've, 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 been, I've had opportunities. New York was no better. But it wasn't Buffalo, it was Schenectady. So, mm. But still, it was up in that area where that lake region... Yeah, I got snow. So, anyway. But I, I, I've definitely had opportunities to get out of the state. Uh, I've had a couple. And, you know, I had an opportunity to get, like, to buy a home in Puerto Rico and use it as, a, like, an Airbnb rental, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. And I, no, I don't want to. Hmm. I like Ohio. I own land here. I own children here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I plan to retire to Tennessee. You're the second person that's told me that. Mm. Mm. Everything about it is different. Yeah. It's like all you get is that rice spice now. Yep. It's all that's left. Yeah. All the all other that flavors complexity gone. is gone. And this is the first time for me to have it on ice to re relay that. There's still a little bit of baking spices there. Are you catching baking spices? Perhaps. As in like a cinnamon Cinnamon nutmeg. nutmeg? Yeah. No, not really. Maybe some five spice on the finish? Maybe a little bit. Very light. But not... No, I just get that natural rye. Okay. It's still got some flavor. Yeah. So would it work in a cocktail? Yes. Should you put it in a cocktail? No. No. <laughs> it's really good just the way that it is. All right. Are you ready to reveal what is coming up next week? Let's go for it. All right. One of us drooled. No, is that? That's straight line. That's not drool. That's where the 
That's where the etching lip ends. Oh, no, it's wet. It's wet? Yeah, as you move your thumb around oh, it. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Dry it off. And... Oh, don't, don't spill it. Oh, it's because the cork is off. Yeah. Thank you very much. I want to do that. You would cry. Oh, yeah, oh. I'd probably grab my tongue and I wouldn't care what was on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we ain't wasting that. <laughs> All right, so next week we're going to stick with the rise. So um, a year ago or so, I was uh, down south. Uh, would have been, I think, September of 22. I happened to go through Florence, Kentucky, and they have a Costco there that... You can buy stuff a lot cheaper than you can in Ohio. And I picked up way too many of the Angel's Envy Rye. Mm. I picked up more of those than what meets the amount of that that I like. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, know, I, know, I know you don't, you're not fond of the rye. I used to like it. The more I drink it, the more I'm like... <sighs> now see, some bottles I get maple on. God. And then there's a couple bottles that I've had that I get butterscotch on. They're just too sweet. Too sweet for me. Okay. So, I'm not going to buy any more of that. <laughs> However, the rare breed I've had, the rare breed rye, I've not had. And now that it's been sitting downstairs for over a year, it's time to crack this, ba ba this uh, bad boy open. Uh, so, this is going to be... You know, rare breed is, is wild turkey, mm -hmm. rye. So rare breed is, everything with rare breed bourbon is the same, whether it's Russell's or Long Branch or the different expressions of, uh, of wild turkey, they're all the same mash bill. So the same thing goes for the rye mash bill at uh, wild turkey as well. This is gonna be their rye mash bill. The only difference between this and other ones is the, is the proof. And this one is gonna be, you're nearsighted. You see it. You, it's up oh, here there it is. Now. Thank you. I was looking down there. 112.2 proof. Where the bourbon that I do believe is 116 point something, but I can't remember what the point was. You're you're right. So this is going to be a little more tame, but only only slightly slightly more tame. So this is what we're going to do next week. The rare breed rye. Now you brought me some samples. You brought me another bottle. We're not going to do that on camera <laughs> because I'm already starting to feel this hundred proof. <laughs> Again, I've been doing low proof for the last week and a half. Right. So this little bit that I've well, had. You've, you've had about three to four times more than I have. Tonight. Well, you're so, driving and I'm, I'm not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you've eaten and yeah. I haven't. So you're ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> so while, while we're drinking whatever else you brought, I might just make those hot dogs, I promised. Go ahead. With the buns. And cheese. Hmm? Do you put cheese on your hot dogs? I have. Okay, so I'm not crazy. No. All right. No. So thank you everybody for uh, for being here. Uh, obviously, you could be anywhere else on a Thursday night, and you're here with us, mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. Uh, later on, this will be uploaded to YouTube. If you want to watch it there, that's fine. Uh, if you do, please subscribe, share, all that stuff. Hit the what do they say? Smash the bell. Smash the like button. Smash the, <laughs> the like button. I'm glad you know that. I don't know. <laughs> smash it, smash it. Uh, and thank you for hitting likes there. I appreciate that. That was nice of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. Uh, tell your friends. So I signed up for Metronet tonight. Are you okay. familiar? No. Metronet is fiber internet. Okay. So right now I'm getting like 486 down megabits per second. Mm -hmm. I'm spending over $100 a month to, to do that. And... Uh, only like 16 up. Metronet is going to give me a gig down and a gig up. Hmm. That's who was here when you got here. Right. So I signed that contract. So it's also going to give me a mesh network in the house. Hmm. So that means that I can do these outside with the fire pit now. Ah. So all that's nice. coming up. Everything is going to be different. Everything's going to be different. I don't know where I was going with that. Party at KC's during the summer. <laughs> we got a fire, we got bourbon, maybe ribs. Or, or we could fire the smokers up. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got jerky to make mm -hmm. still. And we got plenty of bourbon. 
got plenty of <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week for the uh, Rare Breed Rye. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, share it. Tell people about it. Like it, which you did. Thank you. Uh, the YouTube thing, uh, we're growing on YouTube slowly, but it's awesome. growing. I do appreciate that, too. So uh, take care, and we will see you next week for the Rare Breed Rye.